This is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, and today is onion harvest day. We are about to get out here, and we are just going to go ahead and harvest all these onions, the red onions, the white onions, all of them, and see, we're going to pull them, we're going to put them in the wheelbarrow, and we are going to go ahead and cut the tops off. We did that last year instead of letting the tops, the green parts dry. We just went ahead and cut them and weighed them in and put them out on a table to dry. And they did fine. So we're going to do that again this year because we don't really have a place to hang them until all the foliage is completely brown. So we're going to pull them, put them in the wheelbarrow, and then take it over to our compost pile and cut the greens off. And then do a weigh-in and then put them on tables inside to go ahead and cure. So that is today's project. On our walk this morning, we found more of the grass bags, the bags of grass. Someone just mowed their lawn, the guy that always leaves them out for us. So we got these and we could spread these. And over here, I know in several videos I've mentioned that we were going to pull one of our rows of cucumbers and we went ahead and did that. We left our pickling cucumbers because they're still making, we're still eating those but these had strangled out the row of green beans below them and they were encroaching on everything. So we went ahead and pulled this row of the slicing cucumbers and planted a row of climbing rattlesnake green beans in this row. So we're waiting on those to come up. And that's most of the updates that we've done in the garden lately. We've still been picking cucumbers to eat every day and we've been picking, we left these rows of green beans over here. And we've still been picking those and eating those fresh. All right, we're gonna get out here and start harvesting these onions and I will come back and show you what we got. And these are the onions that we planted from the sets we bought from Dixondale Farms. And these are the onions that we planted from seeds that we saved ourselves. We let some of the Dixon, those onions the white candy onions we bought last year go to seed and we gathered the seed and we started these from seed ourselves this year and i don't notice much difference we pull here's a big nice one this is one of the ones we grew from seed and it's pretty comparable to the ones that we grew from the sets that we ordered so we're definitely going to try to um, save our own seed again this year because that worked out really well not much difference in the quality so really pleased with that. And this bed is full of some really nice, big, beautiful, uh, these are the white candy onions. So we're gonna go through and pick these. And most of them, the foliage is almost completely bent over. And so they're basically cured out here anyway. But we're still, we're gonna go ahead and just cut off the tops. And then we're gonna cut off the roots. Cut off the roots here and cut off the tops and set them inside where they're not touching so we can let them dry out completely. But we've got a, a good bit of harvesting to do out here so we're gonna pick all these and when we get them picked we'll come back and show you what it looks like and when we do a weigh-in we'll come back okay we got them all picked and this is a nice big wheelbarrow load we've got of them got of them and we just mixed all the red and the white we just picked every onion we have out here and loaded them up in this wheelbarrow so now we're gonna go through and we're gonna cut off the tops and cut off the roots and then carry them inside and do a weigh in. Okay, this spare bedroom is now once again the onion bedroom. And these are all the onions we got. This is two card tables full and it overflowed onto the bed just a little bit. So this is our onion harvest for this year. And this year we got 105.06 pounds, and this is of the red and white combined. And let's see, this year we bought 300 of the white candy onion sets from Dixondale Farms, and we started some with our own seed, and um, we did a video where some of the red ones we put in here actually sprouted like a potato will do, and so we planted the sprouts from the red onions. So we didn't buy any red onion sets this year, and all the red onions you see mixed in on this table, these were all from just onions, the red onions we had on the table that sprouted last year. So if the red onions do that again this year, we'll definitely plant those sprouts again. And we did really well. We didn't 
collect the um, onions that we planted from seeds separately and weigh them, but the ones that we planted did really well and we got a nice little harvest from them, so we're gonna start saving our own seed on those. So last year, we harvested 124.31 pounds of the red and the white onions combined, but we bought 300 of the onion sets 300 of the white candy onion onion sets and 300 of the red candy onion sets last year and only got a few pounds what's that 19 pounds more than we got this year so definitely calling that a success we're going to save our own onion seed for now on and if we you know if we think we have enough we'll just use those but if we don't we'll just buy a few little sets from Dixondale Farms but been very very pleased with the sets we've gotten from Dixondale Farms never had a bad harvest from those but that is about it. We purchased half as many, spent half as much money as we did last year, and got almost the same amount in our harvest. So very, very pleased. And that's it. Thanks for watching.